Solar light beam incident on a diffraction grating. Grating has 200, 300 lines per mm. What is the total number of maxima from the grating? Ah, so you need to think about this. When you are shining a light through a grating, what is the largest angle that you can possibly have? Largest diffraction angle, this theta. How big can theta go? You think about it. The biggest, biggest, biggest possible it can go is less than 90 degree. Because this one is like a bit weird already. Lah. So it has your angle, whatever it is, that's the condition. Your theta has to be less than 90 degrees. That's the maximum you can go. So how many maxima can you fit inside here before you go to 90 degree? Leh? Ah, that's the question. So you look at your equation and lambda equals to d sine theta. We know that somehow we have to be less than 90 degrees. Okay, whatever your n number is. So when you find what's our maximum n number lah. So sine theta is sine 90 is 1. So you just n equals to d over lambda. So you have n equals to what's our d ah? 300 lines per millimeter. So we need to find d uh, 1 millimeter chopped up into 300 parts. So that will be what's my value ah? I haven't found my d. Whatever the d is lah. Okay. You can use this in your further calculation. And lambda is 600 nanometer. So 600 times 10, negative 9. If you do D divided by lambda, you will get 5.5555555555555. So the next thing you remember is N is an integer. Okay, integer. A whole number N equals to 1 and 2, 3. So you cannot have 5.555. So the nearest next integer smaller than this value will be 5. Cannot be 6, although you say it means can round off. No, 6 is larger than this 5.555. You want something that is less than so 5. So, what that means is if you draw a picture of the grating, you can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wow, that's a lot of order maxima. N equals 1, N equals 2, N equals 3, N equals 4, N equals 5. Don't forget, N equals 0. So, there's 5 on 1. 5 there, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In total, how many intensity maxima? So you have 5 on one side, 5 on the other side, and 1 in the middle. This is our zero order. So in total, you have 11, 11 maxima in your whole thing that will split up. So if you put a light through there, you will see 11 lights come out. If you put a face there, you will see 11 faces come out. Because all the, the rays will all split up and spread out. Okay, this is a very uh, good skill to use. Key idea is sine theta must be uh, less than 1 or theta must be less than 90.